This is episode 13 of Learn Grand MA2, and today we're going to take a look at MA Tricks. MA Tricks is a selection tool, and at first it might actually seem more complicated than just using a layout view, and that's because it is. We saw last week how you can use layout views uh, to individually select fixtures visually. And obviously, if you want to select more than one fixture, but you don't want to take a whole group, then layout view is a great way to do that. You can just use your finger or the mouse on the computer to visually uh, exactly select the, the, the fixtures that you want to use in, let's say, a sequence, a new group, or an effect, for example. And my tricks is more low level than that. Um, but it's important to to learn because it's a it's a really it's a base tool of working with Grand MA2 because once you have this tool down, and fair warning, it takes a bit of time and practice to get used to MA Tricks, but once you have it down, then MA Tricks is a really essential and fast tool to creating looks. And sometimes you don't even know um, how you created a certain look. You just sort of mess around with the MA Tricks parameters. But then all of a sudden you come up with a selection pattern that's really fascinating. But maybe let's just show you, let's just dive into it and um, take a look at the different parameters and then I think you will, you will know what I mean. Download last week's show file in the video description if you haven't followed along so far and you just want to experiment with today's video. Um, as always, we have our beautiful little dead mouse stage in here and I think it's a great example uh, to show you some MA2 tricks. So here we go. First of all, I, I told you it's a selection tool. So first of all, obviously we're going to need um, a set of fixtures. And for that, I'm just going to use these fixtures up here on the X truss. And I think I've used this button before. If you press next to step your way through a selection, then you're already using MA tricks. Now to go back to the full selection of the fixtures, you want to set press and that will deactivate MA tricks again. If I press set now, it will go back to the fixture that I was at before. So setting or pressing set actually toggles MA tricks and you can tell by this little part up here, right? And also if I just select a bunch of fixtures and then press next, you can see that the MA tricks button automatically lights up. So again, Jonas, how do I activate MA tricks? Really easy. Go ahead and you know randomly select fixtures either through a group. Again, groups are just a stored selection of fixtures. Um, and the uh, order in which you select fixtures and then store them in the group um, is also preserved. Or you can just select random fixtures from a fixture sheet, for example. So Go ahead and find a random selection of fixtures and then press next and you're in MA tricks. And you can see in the default mode, you will just step through your selection individually, right? And now you can probably guess what MA tricks does. It gives you various parameters to actually step through uh, a selection in a different way. So first, let's maybe start with the simplest and that's blocks. And you can see uh, whenever I select or change one of these parameters, uh, you actually want to not hit set, but hit next again to step through that selection of fixtures with that new matrix parameter. So blocks is pretty easy. Um, if you have blocks of two, then instead of stepping through your fixture selection, uh, you know, one fixture by one fixture by one fixture, now it's stepping through the selection by fixtures fixture groups of two, or fixture blocks. Groups is another term, actually. Um, so here you can see, you know, pretty easy. That's blocks. And if we increase this to three, because we have three fixtures on each one of these X wings over here, then all this on MA tricks is really useful, uh, because here we can actually step through these four um, you know, parts of our, our fixture group, if you will. All right, maybe let's just pause right here. So it's a selection tool, as I said before, uh, which means that if I just deactivate highlight um, and now set a value, 
let's say we want to set the dimmer, then you can see that only the part that is currently selected with the help of MATRIX is actually changed. So now if I go next and I set this to, let's say 20, and then I go next again and I set this dimmer to 50, and then I go next again and I set this dimmer to 100, then you can see how this already is incredibly useful. To give you a practical example, I can, for example, select my VLX fixtures right here, go ahead and set this all to zero, and then go to matrix, click on blocks, go three, then go next, add, add, uh, store, add to zero, next, add, add, store, create second queue, add zero, add, add, store, add zero, next, add, add, store, and now if I'm going to clear the programmer and go, then you can see that this just allowed me to build a sequence really, really fast. So let's go through the other options that we have here, uh, because all of these give you different tools to um, mess around with a selection of fixtures, which is really nice. So again, VLX, click on MATRIX, and now let's deactivate or reactivate highlight. And now let's next take a look at interleaf. So interleaf is also a really simple tool, actually. Um, these tools are also really easy to explain, but sometimes hard to use, if you know what I mean. So interleaf uh, just means that now every second fixture is selected. And we can actually make that really well visible if we select the fixture sheet and then go to active only. And here you can see that it's always switching. So now if we increase interleaf to three, for example, then it's only every third fixture selected. And here again, because we have three fixtures on each one of these X parts, um, there's a really interesting pattern going on here. If I increase this to six, for example, you can see now that I have this symmetric sort of selection pattern, and that's really, really cool. Again, we can obviously use that together with the other options. So now, see what happens. This is really cool, right? So again, now we could just go uh, deactivate highlight, go add add, store, then add zero, next, add add, store, no wait, don't store it quite yet, go to the first part and then go add add as well, create a second queue, and now we have a nice little sequence like that. So you can see, you know, you can really make your fixtures dance around really nicely with MATRIX. So let's go through the other options. Again, make selection, go to MATRIX, turn on highlights so you can actually see the selection pattern. Uh, so we had interleaf, which only selects every, you know, in this case, fourth fixture, for example, or third fixture, for example. Then we have blocks, which makes sure that your selection is actually stepped through in blocks of, you know, X amount of fixtures. Let's take a look at wings. So again, make a selection and then turn up wings. And now you can see that um, your selection of fixtures is actually stepped through in two wings. And now what is a wing? We can see here that, um, you know, we have one part where the fixtures are stepped through from you know, back to the front of the selection order. And in the first wing, it's actually in the forward direction. So with wings, if you have two wings, then your whole selection of fixtures is actually divided up into two parts. And in the first part, your fixture selection goes from first to last fixture. And then in the second wing, in the second half of your selection, it actually goes backwards. Now, if we increase wings to, let's say, three, for example, and I think this example is sort of hard to tell, actually, let's increase it to four. So now, again, keep in mind that if we um, reset all the values of a matrix, this is the selection order. So first, all of the fixtures in the top half from left to right, and then the bottom fixtures from left to right. 
So now if we set wings to 4, you can see that it's divided up into 4 parts. And in the first part, it's going in the forward direction. In the second part, the selection is going in the backward direction. In the third part, it's going in the forward direction again. And then in the fourth part, it's going backwards again. So wings um, will separate your fixture selection into however many wings you select. And then it's always going backwards or forwards, backwards, forward, backwards, forward, backwards. So like that, you have these really fun looking, um, you know, symmetric uh, selection patterns that kind of go in the opposite direction on like every one of these uh, consecutive wings. I hope that makes sense. All right. And then lastly, um, this is also really interesting. A line group groups is actually a little bit different because it will actually uh, tell MA tricks how many fixtures you want to have in a group. And what, what happens is that uh, if we have six fixtures in a group, for example, and now we set a value range at 0 through 100 for the dimmer, then you can see that the first six fixtures actually have this through range applied to them. And then the second six fixtures, it's identical. So here, whatever value range you enter with the through keyword is actually spread upon six consecutive fixtures. And that's, you know, sort of confusing <laughs> because wings actually work the opposite way. So you have this one tool over here that actually splits up your whole selection into X amount of parts that could have an arbitrary length or amount of fixtures in them. And then this one over here, you actually tell it how many fixtures you want to have in one group. And then this, this group is always, you know, um, applied to the whole selection of fixtures. So it's a little bit confusing, but again, you know, just play around with it a little bit. Maybe to give you a quick recap, Interleave tells MA tricks, you know, how many, how many um, fixtures you sort of leave out before you select the next fixture. So Interleave of three means every third fixture gets selected. Single over here is really just, you know, what part of the, of the selection um, you're in. Blocks means how many consecutive fixtures um, do you want to, to select together? So if we increase that to blocks of six, for example, then we're perfectly selecting uh, the upper half and the lower half of our fixture selection here. A line group will take X amounts of consecutive fixtures and will spread a value range evenly across them. So if we go ahead and set this to six and then we set a dimmer range, for example, then we can see that the first six fixtures get this uh, through range of 100 through zero. And then the next six fixtures, it's the same thing at 100 and then it goes down to zero. And we can also see that um, right here in the fixture sheet. And then lastly, wings will actually select these fixtures um, in X amount of equally large wings. And you have to remember that every wing um, will have a mirrored selection order. So in this case, highlight again. In this case, you can see that our two wings they actually run towards each other in terms of the fixture selection. And that's MA Tricks for you. I know it's not the easiest tool that Grand MA2 offers. That's why we're only taking a look at it now. It's one of these very basic tools though that you will make heavy use of uh, when you work more and more with MA2. So it's worth taking a look at. Uh, and also actually getting really familiar with it. And for Making that a little easier on you, I actually have a great video that I produced last fall um, where I just wrote a bunch of utility macros that let you interactively, intuitively explore um, the different patterns that you can get with different MA tricks um, settings. And I'm going to link that in the video description below and on YouTube, it's going to be a pop-up right here, here, I don't know. Um, the second video is a video by ACT Lighting, the Grand MA2 distributor in North America. They did an amazing video on MA Tricks where they even show you how you can do 2D selections with MA Tricks. So 
Um, just imagine like a huge uh, arena techno show where you have a lot of, um, you know, rows and columns of overhead fixtures. You can even use MA Tricks to do like a 2D selection um, of these these uh, fixtures. And so MA Tricks is not even just a one-dimensional selection tool, but it can even be two-dimensional, uh, which is crazy. So it's a, it's a really powerful little tool, actually. And the third video is going to be something on using MA Tricks and effects. So there's also a few fields in MA or in the effects editor where you can use MA Tricks. And that's also, I think, a really important tool to tweak your effects. So that's it for this week. Uh, don't forget, you can download the show file in the video description. You can also join our little Facebook group. Uh, link is in the video description as well. And until next time, my name is Jonas. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.